MashaAllah, MashaAllah, this is wonderful. Uh, one of the brothers backstage was telling me, he said, you know, you have to go in and beat that. I'm like, no, I have to calm it down, inshallah. So, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Rabbi Shrahli Sadri Wa Sirli Amri, Wahlul Luqdatan Min Lisani, Yafqahu Qawli. My brothers and sisters, we are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are very grateful for him, for this honor, for the accomplishments, for the successes that he has really allowed us to enjoy. I would like to also, at this point, want to say, I want to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect this group of Muslims in the West that has a lot of potential when it comes to the revival of the way of Islam, inshallah ta'ala. Say ameen. My brothers and sisters, the Muslim ummah is reeling from so many challenges around the world. And you and I are here in the comfort of our homes in prosperity, in very comfortable conditions. You may want to call this, you will say, wait a second, but what about the hate and the Islamophobic rhetoric and all that stuff? That's all aside. I was actually in one of the lectures, uh, uh, Sheikh uh, Yusuf Islahi Sahab. He was giving a lecture in, in, in the Urdu session, and I had the opportunity to sit there and listen to him. You know, it was very amazing to see someone like him being so hopeful. He was so encouraging, and I was really inspired by his talk. He said, what you are calling difficulty is nothing but good news. And sometimes we struggle with that notion. We say, wait a second, how do you explain that? My daughter's hijab was pulled. My son was bullied in the school and all that stuff. Yes, these things are going to happen. And we ask Allah's protection from that. But at the end of the day, the result of these challenges is allowing our community to develop and grow. As I started off in the khutbah, and I ask that, what can we do to change the hearts and minds of people in this land? That is the question we should be taking back home with us. My brothers and sisters, these opportunities that are really presenting ourselves, we are being presented with, are something very special and we should take advantage of that. The past 50 years of ICNA has been filled with successes and challenges. At times, things were very difficult. But other times, alhamdulillah, times such as these, when you look around and you say, subhanallah, you know, alhamdulillah, that our message is reaching out to more and more people. That is the challenge, as I said yesterday. That is the true challenge that you and I have, is how to get the message to all these millions of people. How can be our character, our dealing with our friends and neighbors and co-workers, that is going to change their perception, is going to remove the veil of hatred, if there is any. We need to be thinking about those techniques. How can we have these people look at Islam in its total true picture, with a, with a total true picture of that? That is the challenge that you and I have. The rest of it, the rest of it, which in itself, in my opinion, is an opportunity. How can we use technology to remove the veil? How can we increase 
our efforts every day to make sure that the message that was presented by our Prophet ﷺ 1,500 years ago, that we are abiding by his command of when he said, الغائب, For those of you who are present, must deliver this message to the rest of humanity. And if it wasn't for those people, think about it rationally for a moment. If it wasn't for those Sahaba who were at the time, who took that message and spread out, in the east and in the west, in the north and the south. That's why we are here today blessed with this knowledge, blessed with this deen that is really energizing our lives every single day. I've shared this interesting story that I had one time with one of my co-workers. There was uh, several years ago, he would come and pick me up because I had an issue. I could not drive. I was, uh, I hit, I injured my leg. And he would drive me back and forth from work. And one day I just asked him, I said, I said to him, Joe, his name was Joe. He was a, a Christian, Iraqi Christian. So he said, I said, Joe, how's it going? How are you doing? How's your family? And he turns around, he was probably mid-40s. He said, you know, it is just midlife crisis. And to be honest with you, until that moment, I did not realize what midlife crisis is. And then I started thinking about it. And in all honesty, many of us are probably Never thinking about that because we are thinking about the future, the true future. If you have invested, if you have invested truly in your akhirah, then you are not thinking about what is going to happen. Yes, I understand. Death is a transition. The afterlife is a, sometimes is not always in front of us. But at the end of the day, if you are so hopeful about your future, if you are so hopeful about what you will be getting, if you have a vacation planned out, what is your attitude? Everyone is excited. Every time you talk to somebody or a colleague or somebody, you say, oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm, I'm really, it's going to be a great week or so on and so forth. This is the same concept here, my brothers and sisters. When you are looking at the future and the future is bright, you're hopeful for it to be bright. You have done every preparation. You are constantly working on it, planning for it. Then there is no reason. There is no midlife crisis. So the fact of the matter that these Sahaba, Ridwanullahi alayhim, and the Tabi'een and the people who came after them, sincerely and diligently worked very, very hard to deliver this message to you, then it becomes our responsibility it becomes our responsibility to deliver that message. My brothers and sisters, it's really exciting. I was earlier, when Brother Rashid was talking, sitting in the crowd, listening to the speech. May Allah protect him, and may Allah, inshallah, be his guide. You know, it's exciting to look at all the projects and all the development, the human development that this Islamic movement has really allowed to spring. This organization of brothers and sisters, what they have been able to accomplish, the platforms that they have allowed for brothers such as Imam, uh, Imam, uh, Umar Ismail, Jazakumullah, <laughs> once in a while. Imam Umar, Suleiman, and the likes of Shiyukh, another Shiyukh that are here on this platform. The ability to magnify and amplify this voice, future prospects and, and potentials, such as Brother Abdul Rashid, who, who you heard today, and hundreds and thousands of more. We are very grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to create these platforms, allow this development in our human capital. 
We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sincerely to protect our shiukh. I will tell you, my brothers and sisters, I will tell you this very, very frankly. Shaitan, right now, right there, wherever he is, everywhere, is very, very angry and unhappy. He doesn't like this. He's biting his tongue, he's biting his nails. What is going on? And when he does that, he is going to be bent on bringing the best company and people and trained people like him to ensure to sabotage any work that is going on. And those scenarios are being created and are being created in the Muslim community. And I'm sure everyone is aware of them. So we need to be very mindful because shaitan is not one, is, shaitan is unhappy about this progress, about this message of Allah, about the oneness of Allah propagated to the masses. And he's bent upon destroying that message, doing whatever it takes. But look at the beauty. Look at the beauty. The beauty is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has himself because every message that was sent to mankind was tampered with, was changed, was deleted, passages, things were messed up as far as the message was concerned. Its shape was completely changed. But this time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he himself promised that this message would be protected. So in the face of this reality, you need to be very excited. No matter anybody or the entire Humanity, if, if they are to try to change this message, they will not be able to. So, so, the opportunity is yours. You're not afraid. You're not worried about this message being tampered with or destroyed. All you have to do is come up with ways how to communicate it. That's your and my job. My brothers and sisters, as we are concluding here, and inshallah, I'll request you for a few more moments after I conclude to share with you an important announcement, a short video, inshallah ta'ala, uh, from Muslim American Society. You look at the name and you look at this, these, these programs. There are a convention that is coming up in December. So there is an announcement, and I would request you to please, inshallah, stay for a few moments to, uh, to watch that video. But before I close, this past few days, you have heard many messages. You have heard messages about spirituality and ways on how to boost your iman. You attended talks which were focused on social justice and relief work in the United States and around the world. You heard how to be politically engaged and how to become an activist. You heard speeches regarding the family, the importance of family and community development. You were inspired by speeches that gave you hope and courage and it really rejuvenated your iman. You attended lectures, workshops, maybe you even attended the, the youth workshop upstairs, a parallel practice has been going on for years now, alhamdulillah, that is helping really make our youth come forward. The organization behind it, the Young Muslims Organization, and they work in terms of youth empowerment and leadership development. You came to learn about ways and how to streamline your organization. There has been talks about building the Muslim identity you learned about how da'wah is an essential and integral part of our work. There are so many new sessions that this team, alhamdulillah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward everyone who's worked on this program because the amount of effort it takes, it's really beyond description. 
they have alhamdulillah made sure that this convention has something for everyone for every age group for brothers and sisters young and old different types of tracks different because some people come to me and say why don't you just you know it's too hard i want to go to the session but this other session is going on here i'm really interested in this talk and but i'm actually interested in this other talk too and they are the same time how can i juggle that that's a good problem to have that is a good problem to have and to be honest with you the diversity of the muslim community the talent their potential one of the uh, city leaders were talking to me yesterday he said when i walked walked inside here in this convention center i was amazed by the diversity of people Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed the Muslim community, my brothers and sisters. You have a lot of potential. You have a long way to go. With the right planning, with the right attitude, with the right information, this very small, powerful, educated, well-to-do community can do miracles. I totally believe in that. Inshallah ta'ala one day very soon in the near future or in the future sometime this community is going to be able to do what no other community has been able to do really allow this country and this land and the world because you have the ability to influence so many things around the world just one small community so never underestimate your potential my brothers and sisters <clears throat> i want to leave you with this last thought out of all these messages that you've taken that you've heard that you've listened to that you've thought about i want to remind you about three things i want to remind you about intention about ihsan and about consistency intention ihsan and consistency if you have those three attributes you will do miracles inshallah ta'ala jazakumullah khair for your attention jazakumullah khair for your presence for your time for your devotion for your commitment may allah protect you your families and may allah take you back home safely جزاكم الله خيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته